All right, hey guys, and welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. Now, there's not really a good point for me to uh, stop on it, but I uh, thought I'd do the intro here for you guys at this uh, letter that we get at the beginning. And for this, I made a account and did the quizzes for the... Uh, for the house and the wand and the Patronus and link the accounts that way also it's uh because for this game I had seen how in the beginning for choosing your house it you literally basically get to choose your house and it's not so much using a quiz and then adjusting so I thought well, let's take a quiz and see what house I get then also for my wand and Patronus and I was actually interested intrigued by the results and uh, from this intro, I will cut into that, and then I'll cut right back to the game, so that way you guys can see uh, my thoughts, as well as my answers for the quiz, as to how I got to the results I did. But this is a game I've actually been... At first, I thought it would be an inter interesting game when I first heard of it, and over time, as it got closer, and I saw more and more of the game, I thought it seemed like a really cool game that would be really fun to play. That's why even with everything else I got going on right now, I wanted to at least uh, do a part one and then do like maybe at least a couple videos a week while trying to uh, clean up some stuff of my uh, other walkthroughs. But that out of the way, we'll go ahead and get right into it. And I'll go ahead and read this letter. Uh, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term one begins on September 1st. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside of school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Ali Elizar Fig to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you from the dungeons of the castle for the start of term feast and the soaring ceremony. Yours sincerely, uh, M. Weasley, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistri he Headmistress. Oh, cool. Now we get to customize our character. Man, they actually got a decent uh, selection here. I like that one. Uh, face wearer. I'd say it looks the most normal. Don't want to do glasses. No. Let's just make them wider. Nice. Eh, we'll go all the way there. Hairstyles. Um. You know, I kind of like that one. It has some fluff to it. Alright, so that's darker, so I'm guessing this is like blunt. Whoa. A blonde. Oh, it's, that's perfect, actually. Uh, I guess I'm like scars. Freck some moles. So this would be very heavy, I'm guessing. Eh, not really. Complexion. Ah, uh, I forget. Is that. Ah, okay. Let him have a little rosy in his cheeks. Now we got eyes. It's very dark. So it's the extreme here. Ooh, I actually kind of like that. Looking for a light blue. Perfect. Light blue is exactly what I was looking for. I think that lines up pretty well. Moderate eyebrows there. Uh, finalize your character. That was quite something. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Really? There's only one voice I'm for each? I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy- A few cobwebs and some dust. 
That was okay. quite something. Get your difficulty, story through hard, keep it on normal. Uh, you must name your character to proceed. Now let's just do the channel name here. Uh, dormitory, witch, and wizard. We are a wizard, and we'll hop right into it. Alright, so, before we hop into Hogwarts Legacy, uh, since there's these, um, uh, getting sorted, wand, and uh, link account rewards for uh, linking your Wizarding World account to Hogwarts Le Legacy. We're going to do that. main reason I wanted to was just because of the get sorted. Where the sorting is based on questions. And also I made this little uh, portrait. I don't know if it really does anything. But I took the options and so, so it was. But yeah, just because I know the house and the wand will transfer into the game. But we're going to do the Patronus as well, just for fun. But let's start with the house one, because I am most curious. And uh, before, I had actually taken this quiz on, uh, I think I'm Pottermore for both of them. And uh, back in like, geez, probably like 2013, 2015, I think, I got sorted into Hufflepuff the first time, and uh, Ravenclaw, I believe, the second time. All right. Discover your Hogwarts house. Get sorted now. And if this is the same or similar to Pottermore, it'll probably be X amount of questions, and then I'll sort. All right, dawn or dusk? Um, let's say dawn. Uh, what are you most looking forward to learning at Hogwarts? About magical creatures, not be friend or care for them. Flying on a broomstick. Apparition and... Disapparition, being able to materialize and dematerialize at will. Secrets about the castle. Transfiguration, turning one object into another object. Hexes and jinxes. Every area of magic I can. Um. Mm. Say the secrets about the castle. Oh, I'm going to adjust my microphone a little bit here. There we go. A little bit easier now. Uh, given the choice, would you rather invent a potion that would guarantee you glory, love, power, wisdom? Hmm. Potion that would guarantee... Uh, I don't. I don't know because it's all artificial, essentially. So you would think wisdom, but I don't know. I prefer love. All right, a troll has gone berserk, and the headmaster study at Hogwarts is about to smash, crush, and tear several irreplaceable items and treasures. Which order would you rescue these objects from the trolls' club if you could? Oh, well, is it going to tell me the other things, or do I have to? Near the perfected cure for Dragon Box? Uh, sure. Uh, student records going back a thousand years. I, I don't know what all the items are, so I can't really. I guess as I see them, really. So there's a handwritten book full of strange runes. Oh, you can reorder them. Okay. So essentially, cure, records, and... What's the last one? Mysterious handwritten book full of strange runes. Yeah, I'll, I'll confirm my order. Uh, what kind of instrument most pleasure pleases your ear? Piano, drum, violin, trumpet. Um. Do you like a nice piano work? Drums are pretty good. Violin. Let's say violin. 
Uh, you and two friends need to cross a bridge guarded by a river troll who insists on finding one of you before he will let all of you pass. Do you volunteer to fight? Attempt to confuse the troll into letting all three of you pass without fighting. Suggest that all three of you should fight without telling the troll. Suggest drawing lots to decide which one of you will fight. I'd say I'd volunteer if someone has to. Sorry, I had to adjust the microphone a little bit more <laughs> again. Um, if you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Owls. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you take with you? Barn Owl, Tawny Owl, Snowy Owl, Screech Owl, Brown Owl. Well, I'm going to have to go with the Snowy Owl. Looks fantastic. Heads or tails? Um, Tails. Ready to make its decision. Wonder what it'll be. Really? Gryffindor. That is interesting. Welcome to Gryffindor. You probably know that some of Gryffindor's most renowned members, including Albus Dumbledore and Harry Potter. But did you know the Sword of Gryffindor was made a thousand years ago by goblins? Or that head of house Minerva McGonagall's hobbies include collecting articles in Transfiguration Today and supporting the Montrose Magpies? Not alone, zero fellow Gryffindors have been soared into this brave Hogwarts house today. Well, that's good to know, since I'm doing this more in the afternoon. Fellow Gryffindors, of course. Master Training Prefect, congratulations. I'm Prefect Percy Weasley, and I'm delighted to welcome you to Gryffindor House. Our emblem is the lion, the bravest of all creatures. Our house colors are scarlet and gold, and our common room lies up in Gryffindor Tower. You might belong in Gryffindor, where dwell the brave at heart. Their daring nerve and chivalry set Gryffindors apart. Well, that was surprising. I didn't think I would get Gryffindor, of all houses. If I get Hufflepuff or uh, Ravenclaw. Right, we got that one. So, next, let's, um, I think it's under quizzes. No, no, it's not. Um, back under profile. All right, so let's do the wand now. Because sadly in the game, it's pretty much uh, you choose what one you want and you choose what house you want. It's like, eh, I'd rather take a quiz and have it be sorted for me. It feels a lot more unique and special that way. Uh, first of all, would you describe yourself as average height and your eyes blue? What was the day on which you were born an odd number? Do you most provide yourself on your most pride yourself on your uh, determination, originality, imagination, optimism, resilience, kindness, intelligence, kindness? Traveling alone down a deserted road, you reach crossroads. Do you continue? Left towards the sea, right towards the castle, ahead towards the forest. Um. Sea, castle, or forest? Castle? Warmth of people? Uh, do you most fear? Fire, small spaces, darkness, isolation, heights. Small spaces. In a chest of magical artifacts, which would you choose? Silver dagger, golden key, ornate mirror, dusty bottle, glittering jewel, black glove, bound scroll. Bound scroll. Who knows what is wound in that scroll? Hawthorn wood with a phoenix core, ten and three quarter inches, and quite bendy flexibility. Um... I'll let you guys read that. That way it doesn't take too much time to read through these. The one chooses the wizard. Remember, Mr. Ollivander. Hawthorne Wood, nice. Phoenix Core, rarest core type. Interesting. Capable of the greatest range of magic. May take longer than either Unicorn or Dragon Course to reveal this. Between 9 and 14 inches. Hmm. 
Hmm. Quite bendy and flexible. Interesting. Huh. Hermione, Voldemort, Albus Dumbledore. Did not know that. And now, just for fun, we're going to do the Patronus. Just to see. Just out of curiosity, even though it doesn't transfer to the game, since this is more of the um, Harry Potter world. I think it would be interesting to see. Patronus is kind of positive force, projection of the very things that the Dementor feeds upon. Hope, happiness, the desire to survive. We miss Lupin. Alright. Discover your Patronus. Can I discover your Patronus once? The questions are timed. Go with your instinct. Relax, think of your happiest memory. I like that swirl effect. Well, not swirl, but a particle. Sun, wind, rain, um, sun. I guess choose just whatever gives us the most hope, I guess. Smooth the rough, smooth. I kind of think it's neat that it's just pulling us through the trees. Uh, prow, play, preen, play. Wonder how many questions there are for this. Uh, what was that? I saw the hint of a tail, or was it a wing? Is it gonna ask me if it's tail or wing? Lost, found, found. Prepare to meet your Patronus. I don't know what animal it is. I can't rem I did the Patronus once before, but I can't remember. As to, um... What it was exactly. Oops. Um, click and drag, release for Patronus. Your Patronus is a dolphin. Okay. You know? Come to think of it, I think my Patronus was a dolphin back then, too. I believe. That's interesting. I love how it said, Is that a tail or a wing? Who'd have thought dolphin? Patronus turned. It was cantering back towards Harry across the still surface of the water. It wasn't a horse. It wasn't a unicorn either. It was a stag. It was shining. Okay, gotcha. What does your Patronus say about you? I am curious, really quick. Uh, dolphin apparently is the most popular. Uh, it's a good thing dolphins are most common in Patronus form because they're friendly, sociable mammals. They live in pods. Uh, communicate in squeaks, whistles, and clicks and are incredibly playful creatures. If you have a dolphin or a Patronus, perhaps it matches your own extroverted personality. If that doesn't sound like you, you may be deep down. You're more outgoing than you thought. Funny enough, because I'm more of a shy person than a outgoing. I have to more know someone to be more outgoing. Fox is my favorite animal, though. Interesting. All right. So... Then I'll jump to uh, after I link the accounts. And we'll get right into the game after that. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well... I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time again. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> 
Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Nice bit of intro here. Oh, I could skip it. Nah, we'll go through this. Talk a little bit just to break up the music. Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard! How did you- Wait! We did-
Are you all right? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Oh, nice. Nice. Now gameplay starts. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. All right. Now we get to move around. Now, were we teleported by the port key, or did he send us to a location? Nope, had to have been port key. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins. You think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path However faded it may be. Man, I gotta say so far, this looks pretty darn good. Mind your step. Like, I, I don't know yet if it's a uh, justifiable uh, PS5 looks, but... Uh, and also this is in, uh, it has performance and fidelity mode. This is in performance mode. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Well, yeah, this looks really good where it's either, uh, PS4 Pro or PS5. We'll see how well it does when we're actually doing more. But I gotta say, it looks really good. It feels smooth from moving Ancient around, magic. too. Yes, a powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Oh, there was a purpose. Okay. Let's so, just stand at the ledge talking. Why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Hmm. That's a very true statement. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. All right, tap R2 to perform a basic cast. Excellent. 
Uh, some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same stick by disabling camera relative targeting and settings. I'll stick with the current settings here. Oh, nice! You can actually just do random shots. Yeah, you can actually break some of the pottery and stuff. That was a bit rougher than I expected. Ooh. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Nice. I wonder if we were supposed to shoot at those. Ah, up there. Try to keep going here as much as we can. Hey, there's actually something over here. Who thought? Just by random chance, I went back here too. I paid off with 40 of whatever that currency is. Just ahead. Steady yourself. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, definitely PS5. Oh, Almost there. good. I hope when we catch Trapero, it looks that cool. So I'm sure we will at some point. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Ah, probably the mural on the wall there. And up shows surroundings with you in the middle of this icon's current objective. Press all up to talk quest objectives. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Hmm. Some wizard cards. Looks like a horn. And there's another one who's an astronomer. Okay. Interesting. Uh, looks like we can go down this. Oh, Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. Maybe, but who is that then? All right, not too much point in destroying those pots, so I'm not gonna worry about that too much. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! What the? How odd! Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. So do I just gotta interact with them? What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Wait, the goblin. Oh, are we in, uh, Green Cats? Hello? Hmm. 
a moment. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> uh, where are we here? <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Hmm? Your wife's porky. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. <whistles> After you. Inside the cart, if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Interesting. How many vaults are there in Green Vaults? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to Vault Number Twelve. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. Hmm. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Interesting. It's very cool to actually be in Gringotts and very unique to have such a low-numbered vault. Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. When was the last time this vault story was gets more interesting. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Huh. Very interesting. Oh, something to look at. Oh, man. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. Oh good, I could still check out whatever's over here. Oh, a chest, sweet. Can I look at an inventory yet? 
Um. Looks like new. Yeah, because that's the start button. And. Oh, touchpad. Perfect. Gear inventory. Talents. Eventually unlocked through the main story. Outpost. Quests. Map. Don't know what this is. Oh, challenges. Collections. Interesting. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh. Steady your wand with left analog stick guided along the symbol's path to learn the spell. Press the corresponding input and prompt it to accelerate your wand's motion along the symbol's path. Uh oh. Oh no. Alright then. Interesting. So you're trying to follow the path before that whatever's chasing behind catches up. Hmm. Revelio. There! I saw something! Move a bit closer and try again! Awesome! So now that we learned it, we don't have to go through that little mini game again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Interesting. I wonder what we'll find in this vault. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Yeah, this is very mysterious, but I like it. Very cool. Wish we would have learned Lumos now, though. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Are we just gonna be going from one location to the next? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Hmm. What statue is that? Revelio! I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Hey, good. Right, same thing there. Oh, so direction is very important for this. Uh, acquire the wand lighting charm Lumos, which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in dark areas. Uh, hold R2 and tap triangle. Lumos, well done. 
to cast or extinguish. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. All right, do we need to look a certain way? Because what are we doing here? Or do we need these to line up? Oh. Tego incoming enemy attacks. Exposo. Yeah, that's all I can do, really. This gives me a warning. These enemies leveled? Destroy them face of the cast. Alright. Stay close. All right. Yes, it's got to be a trial of some kind or defense. Lumos, Professor, Professor Fig, what? Professor, where are you? This where? isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? Where, where What's Professor happening? Fig go? The wisps of magic seem to be leading. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Alright, what happens now? Activate statues. Okay. Um. Revelio. I suppose I'm oh, on my right. own this time. Lumos. Oh, hey, look at that. Another chest. Do I have to get them all to... I need to align these statues with their reflections. Okay. And do these two at the same time? Not really. And last one. Next, we'll see what happens here. Perhaps I need to get them all to stand at once. Well, yeah, but how would I do that? Lumos. Because it seems like I need to be in a perfect position to be able to do that. Lumos. Hmm. I can't light anything up. So what exactly am I doing here? Lumos. I need to get them all to stand at once. Yeah, but how do I do that? Revelio. Lumos. 
Is there something I'm not seeing, or...? Question. Oh. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Oh no! I messed up. Potato. That was nice. It gave me a chance. Fight his buddy there. Uh, whole triangle during Protego to stun enemies with a stupefy counterattack. Stun enemies take extra damage indicated by golden numbers. Protego, nice, extra damage there. Stupefy. Stupefy. <laughs> stun the same one over and over. Ah, correct. Okay, my aiming is not the greatest right here. Thankfully, though, that's all right. The large number of enemies we got here. Then maybe we'll find Professor Fig after this. Maybe. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. I uh, guess just run. All right. Where's the magic leading me? Oh, is this part of the vault? That's just a portal, or Lumos. What's going on here? Floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Follow my lead. Too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. 
We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Also, did that take us to... Oh, is this the grounds of Hogwarts? Yep, there it is. That's awesome. And also 
perfect on Brooklyn Games Hogwarts Legacy. Which I think it's awesome too, just for the fact that. Uh, you know what? I don't know where I was going with that. So far, I like the uh, intro for all this. I hope they at least go through the sorting hat ceremony still. I hope that's not necessarily skipped. That we still at least get to hear the hat sort us. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Jealous. Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Okay, yeah, we're still going through, so we still have to act to uh, answer these uh, questions. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Mmm. Oh, but you're brave at heart. Exceptionally daring. Undaunted by the unknown. Willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. Yep, because the, I linked the account and took the quiz. Uh, didn't ask us if we uh, preferred... I think it's bravery. But, uh... Originally... And you'll have heard me say it during the quizzes that when I took it before, I was Hufflepuff, then Ravenclaw, now apparently Gryffindor. And since that's where the quiz put me, I'll go with that rather than trying to choose whichever one I prefer. It's more fun that way, too. Better be Gryffindor! And one more thing. 
Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honour to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may enter. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. That's cool that we get the tidbit that she was actually, well, is a Gryffindor. Very cool. All right, I guess we slept. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Yeah, because this video is definitely going to be longer with the quizzes. Oh, that's awesome. Please tell me all these paintings are moving. Yeah. That's a really cool detail. I love it. Uh, can we do anything else? No, that's not my wide. Um, okay, we're level one. We have the map. Uh, demigod statues, astronomy tables, field guide pages, collection chests. Huh. Don't access world map for Hogsmeade map. Flu flames locations. Currently in debate. Huh. I wonder if that's for fast travel. And those are the only two things we got access to is settings and map. Alright. Yeah. We're going to leave it here. Revelio. Off oh, there's something here. That'd be awesome. Nope. Lumos. Okay. Well, with that, we're going to go ahead and end this definitely longer part one here. Uh, so far, I gotta say, I'm really looking forward to the game. It seems uh, very cool so far very interesting and mysterious with its mysteries and uh something about all that is uh just very very charming that it's something that'll keep me going uh even though this first part's a little bit later i will definitely be doing a longer recording tomorrow for this and we'll see how far we can get and see how much we can do but with that Take care. Hope you guys enjoy this first part. See you in the next part. Have a great day.